Hi, this is Wolfgang and I'm here to show you how to use a crystal wand. This here is a crystal wand. It has an end piece. It has uh, different stones that can be used for chakras. They are the colors of the rainbow. And then here is a crystal. The energy will be accumulated in this handle which is made from copper and then it's going to be sent out here where just like a water hose it will spray chi energy or prana these are all same uh, different words for the same thing life force um, a subtle energy that uh, flows uh, at about a speed like that <coughs> And uh, for the newcomer, uh, this is a wonderful uh, device. Um, it comes from Atlantis, where it was used for healing and ceremonial purposes. Uh, my wife Ishani made those wands in Atlantis in many incarnations, and I used to use those wands in Atlantis. Um, and now <laughs> I do in this lifetime. Uh, you can do any kind of chi manipulation with your hands or straight from your chakras. But it, there are advantages to using a tool. If you do Reiki or any other type of hands-on healing, um, the advantage of a crystal wand is you do not have to bend over into your customer and you do not have to keep your hands in people's dirty chakras. Um, as a empath I feel the pain in the heart chakra of my person or in other any other part of my body in my hand and uh, in the long run this is a very uncomfortable thing. With a wand I can just uh, project my chi much better and just pick up any energy or pick out any en energy and clear out any energy without having to have my hands in it. Uh, that is just uh, one of the advantages. The other advantage is um, that uh, you don't have to visualize colors. You can just put your thumb on any of those colors to project those colors. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. You know, the first idea is on for a novice how do I use the wand? And just by picking up a wand, um, which will interact with your force field, and smiling into it, and meditating. It is very easy to go into higher consciousness. So these are great tools for meditation. But that is not all. Um, when you take a wand sideways and pass it over your arm, you will feel an expansion in the energy of the arm. The wand shoots the energy this way and just kind of fluffs, fluffs the aura, the force field that is around the arm. A very wonderful and easy way to clear yourself. It is like a quick Reiki healing, if you're familiar with that. You, know, you pass it in front of your body, to the sides of your body, and of course at the back of your body. That's where we hold a lot of tension. Mm -hmm. Now, as this wand is a tool that enhances the chi that it comes in contact with, that you sent in there, um, it is a great advantage to enhance your own chi, because this will be amplified 
purify the wand. And one of the easiest way to enhance the chi in your hands is to just rub them really good. So they become nice and warm and you massage the fingers. That will get any stuck energy going and you rub on both sides. Maybe you massage your ears quickly, that will go your chi going. And if you want and if you know how to, you do breath of fire with a rainbow bridge. <laughs> and you really get a charge in your hands. And if you just bring your hands together after any of those exercises you probably feel a pressure increasing when you bring them together that is your chi, that is your life force it is flowing no stronger with you and if you take your wand again and take your uh, main hand for a left handler this is going to be the left hand for a right handler this is going to be the right hand and just see if you can feel any sensation when you slowly pass your wand over your arm. <coughs> you may feel a tingling, you may feel heat, you may feel coolness or maybe pressure or any other sensation. You may even feel or see uh, colors um, coming from the wand. And then you can explore how far away the energy comes. There will be a, something like a surface that you hit in some way. But you can feel how, how it feels different when you pass the wand over. So playing around with this will give you some idea uh, about Qi, how to feel it, how to project it. Um, and then you could, let's say you have a bad wrist, uh, you probably, if you have it inflamed, you know, I would uh, use uh, amethyst, which is the violet color, it's considered antiseptic, and just uh, project Qi into the wrist and it's probably going to start feeling lighter and better and it may, lay, may last uh, an hour, it might last five hours, it might last a couple of days you're probably not going to do any permanent healing with something like this but you get a quick relief now if you want to really jazz it up um, I advise to connect with the earth and with the higher dimensions through the crown and take your energy from there. And then you become a transmuter of energy yourself and then this becomes another transmuter of energy in itself, a projector. And that is when stuff really happens. <laughs>